every time I'm traveling and entering a European country, and even if it's travel with the Schengen zone and there are no formal borders, almost every time police randomly stop me to ask me to open and show them my luggage. Similarly, when I'm the only person of color in a train car among 40 or 50 other white passengers, the police will come only to me and out of all of these people and wake me up and ask me for my documents. This is clearly racial profiling. This happens to me in Germany, country in which my great grandfather was being kept in a forced labor concentration camp for three years. Racial profiling is happening to a lot of Roma in Europe, even in the countries known as the human rights defenders. My organization, the European Roma Rights Center, provides legal representation to Roma through strategic litigation, and about 48% of all our cases actually concern police misconduct. It is one of the most common and most visible forms of racism by the state that Roma face. In fact, it is often the only face of the state that Roma see, as most state authorities have abdicated their responsibility when it comes to our community. So I was concerned to see in this action plan that you will tell member states that sometimes profiling is okay under certain circumstances. Let me tell you that from being on the other side of this phenomenon, ethnic profiling is never okay. Well, I'm truly thankful to you for inviting me to this meeting. I can't hide my frustration that I'm the only Roma activist at this meeting, representing the largest ethnic minority in Europe, and that the main idea of my intervention here is to provide testimony. I'm personally tired of that. If you want testimony, we have hundreds and hundreds of pages, reports, documents, court decision and similar, which you can read and see the effects of historical long lasting discrimination are still very relevant in our lives today. I'm pleased to see Romani member of parliament, Romano Franz present at the agenda, but it concerned me that the organization of this event also reflect anti-racism action plan itself. That even in this event, Roma civil activists are put in the victim box where we talk about how poor, how marginalized, how discriminated we are, while issues of substance are decided by others. We Roma already have a very similar experience with other action plans relating to Roma inclusion. The lastest Roma framework calls on Roma states, calls of member states to cut school segregation by only 50% in the next 10 years. How this can be acceptable? Can someone just please explain me how this is possible when segregation based on ethnicity is illegal in Europe? Why you do not insist on stopping it? By allowing illegal segregation of Romani children to happen, you take part in this illegal action and destroying the lives of these children. We Roma seeing your previous plans, the lack of transparency, the unambitious targets, are concerned that like previous frameworks for Roma inclusion, this anti-racism plan won't work either. It is just another soft measure without any enforcement mechanisms, the theories that is destined to fail from the beginning. There needs to be a rethink about the participation of racialized minorities. You need to be our allies. Today's documents were produced by all white commission. This launch of the EU anti-racism action plan should be the time when you give us, racialized communities, power to decide how we go forward. You need to design and drive, we need to, you need us to design and drive many of the processes if you need to see change in Europe. Those of us who lived experience of racism, who spent our lives combating racism, know what needs to be done to make a real difference. It is time to us to lead the struggle against racism. As allies, it is time for you to follow our lead and support our struggle with everything you got. Thank you.